Mm -hmm. Having the square. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I'm Nate. I'm Sarah. We have some big news. We got an apartment. Yay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about some tips on looking for a new apartment or rental space mm -hmm. when we are still dealing with this pandemic. Because things are a little different. A lot of times you can't go and see it. The market's just moving so fast because so many people are getting jobs and moving back out on their own. Yeah. So the rental market's moving very fast, which was the case with ours. For ours, it was different. We haven't seen it because it's not done being built yet. The building yes. is brand new. Tip number one, clearly define from the beginning what your needs are. Everything from how much space you need down to square footage makes a big difference if you can't go see the unit. Mm -hmm. Having the square... <laughs> so if you can't go and see the unit in person like us, knowing the square footage ahead of time will give you an idea of how big the space is. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it can be really hard to tell from the picture, but the square footage will give you a general idea. Yeah. You can even um, measure your current space just to give you a general idea of how big your current space is comparatively, if it's bigger, larger, whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, that way you know. Tip number two, don't get derailed from what your needs are. It can get really overwhelming when you're looking for an apartment. I know that happened to me when we first started looking because there can be so many listings, but once you narrow it down to what is actually gonna meet your needs, it becomes way less overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. So tip number three, Google mapping where your place is in relativity to everything that you do. Mapping to work, um, mapping to school if you're in school, grocery stores around you, if you wanna park around you. Specifically the routes that you'll have to take so you know what your commutes will be to and from. Yes. Tip number four is another Google Maps one. Look up the unit address and then switch it to street view. Cause mm -hmm. I know a lot of times during the pandemic you might not be going and seeing the unit. So doing it this way, you can at least get an idea of what the area is like. Yeah. If you can go and see it in person, like not going in the unit, then you can go drive over and do that too. But this is a good way, even if you're not in the same city, to get an idea of what that area is yeah. like, you know? Tip number five. <laughs> so using the like nearby feature on Google Maps to find what restaurants, coffee shops, and stores are around your place. Imagining your life in that space, you'll know like, okay, so if I, for the next year, <laughs> need food last minute, like what are my options in this space? Yeah. Gives you a better idea of like what your life will realistically be in that area. Mm -hmm. Number six is, I already just blanked, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Verifying everything that is included with your apartment space. So that goes for uh, co-working spaces, things like uh, bike storage. Utilities. Yeah, all your utilities obviously yeah. a big one to figure out what is included and what is not. Um, Cause that might change what your budget is. Like for us, yes. we ended up getting a, a place that was a little bit more expensive than we initially had planned. It works for this space because it had everything else that we wanted and it has a gym. So, it, and it's close to work. So we're not yeah. gonna have to, like I'm not gonna have to buy like an expensive bus pass or mm -hmm. I'm not gonna need a car, which like these made that cost more doable. Like, Anything like a sense. gym in the apartment uh, yeah. complex is a good thing to look at because you can, if you are paying for a gym right now, you can cut that as an expense. Exactly. Tip number seven, that is find out what way your unit is facing. Knowing which <laughs> way the unit is facing will give you an idea of how much sunlight you're gonna get, which affects a lot of different things. First off, if you have a lot of plants, you're gonna want a lot of sun. So you wanna make sure that you're having the windows in, your, in that unit facing the way that you'll get the most sun. Mm -hmm. um, also, like depending on what's around your building. Yes. That will determine. Like one building we looked at had trees all over the one side of it, so we would've gotten no sun in that, no matter which way the windows were facing. Mm -hmm. um, also for heat. Yes, for heat, if you're in a space that doesn't have AC, if your unit's gonna get blasted with sun all day and you don't have AC, it's gonna be hot. It's something you have to think about. Number eight is keeping in mind the age of your apartment complex. It's kind of like a car. If it's an older apartment complex, it's gonna be a lot more wear and tear. Also, if there's things like uh, rugs or like carpets carpeting. inside of there. Even in the hallways, I know that's a big deal with yeah. older, you, a lot of older apartments have carpeting in the hallway, which means it's just been like accumulating smells. I was say, some people can be sensitive to smells. So that's something that you wanna, um, yeah. <laughs> that's something that you wanna pay attention to. Like I said, we said before, we got really lucky and ours is a brand new build. Yeah, but um, this is specifically really good if you can't, like a good thing to ask if you can't go see it in person. Exactly, yes. Because yes. that's something that like you would never think to ask because if you're seeing it in person, 
you would smell it. Like you would know. Right, like that's right the real the old building smell weird. Yes, exactly. If you don't have a problem with it, that's fine. But <laughs> I eat migraines from it, so. Yes. Tip nine, <laughs> look up reviews for the building or the management company, if you can. Yes. Not all of them will, especially if it's a unit that's owned by somebody who doesn't have a lot of rental properties. But a lot of places that we were looking at had, if you looked up the name of the building on Google, mm -hmm. it would show me reviews of the complex or the management company. And that gave me a really good idea of like, how long it takes for them to get back to you on repairs or management issues or billing issues, or if like a bunch of stuff just breaks randomly in this building. <laughs> it gave me a really good idea. Like the company that we ended up going with had great reviews. It had a lot of people saying like they communicated really greatly, you know, they get back to you really quickly. Mm -hmm. And that made a big difference in choosing this building versus a lot of different ones. Yeah. So tip number 10, but I already forgot. You got me. <laughs> okay. Asking for specific to the unit, images, videos, or floor plans. If you're going in person, you're gonna know exactly what the unit they're renting is gonna be like. Yes. Most often. Sometimes you, are, you won't get shown the specific unit. Unit to unit can make such a big difference. You'll get a general idea of what like the style of the apartment is or the age of the apartment. Mm -hmm. But being in the specific unit or seeing a picture video or a floor plan of it will give you an idea of what your life will be like in that unit. Yes. So it's really important to see that. Like for ours, we couldn't see images because there was no, the building isn't done yet but we have a floor plan of it. So we yes. know exactly like, we know that our bedroom will not have any shared walls with any other units. The ceiling and floor, obviously, because it's an apartment. <laughs> but that means that, that like sleeping in in the morning is not gonna be a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> or for instance, the room that we can use as a filming or recording studio is gonna share potentially one wall with another unit. Yeah. So we'll know like, okay, so there's gonna, we're gonna be fine to put like a Bluetooth speaker on this wall and be relatively louder because it's not like right up against someone else's room. So mm -hmm. it makes a big difference to have that. And yet again, that's just one that like during the pandemic where you're not often, or you're often not able to go see the places in person. This is an easy way to, you know, get a feel for it. Yeah. From a distance. <laughs> Yeah, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, um, and we will see you next time. Bye!